Who do you hire first when looking to build out a team? Someone to look over email. Someone to take care of email. That's the first thing you want to get off your plate. Someone to look over your email. Like you should not be checking your email. That was a big one for me. So I hired an assistant, an executive assistant. Her only job initially was to check email. Just purely take over my email. I paid her like 500 bucks a month to do that. I'm like, here's 500 bucks. Just check my email. I don't want to look at it. What I did is I created another email that only she knew about. And I told her, if there's anything I need to read, if an email comes in for me, forward it to that email and then tell me to check that email. And I will then check that email if it's something that I need to see. The only stuff I really need to see is like maybe an email from my mom or my dad or my sister or someone in my family or like friend or something hits me up. Um, or if there's like an invitation to come speak at an event or something or do a podcast or something, she sends me those. But now, now she's just been trained to even deal with those. So now she does all the invite stuff and she takes care of all my bookings and appointments and all that for me. So slowly trained her over time. So basically the answer is you want to hire an executive assistant and their first job is to check email. And you slowly train them to get really good at email, do customer support. And then eventually they can do other stuff for you, like grow your Instagram for you and any other repeatable task that you really don't want to do. And then you go from paying them hourly to paying them a salary. So I personally hired someone in Canada, someone I knew face to face. So if I ever did need to meet up with them, I could do it. But I know people also hire foreigners from like the Philippines and stuff to do work for them too. So you could do that. But I like to hire someone in my country so that I can meet up with them if, if I ever need to. But yeah, you want to hire an assistant first and then train them to do a bunch of tasks for you, all the tasks that you don't need to be doing. And then start with hourly wage and then just go into salary with commission. So I'm now paying her commissions so that she can actually, I want her making $10,000 a month. Like I would love for her to be doing over $120,000 a year. But for that, she's gonna need commissions. So the way she gets commissions is by doing call setting. So if she sets up a call, and one of our reps closes that call, she gets 5% commission. Plus, she gets um, a bonus just for setting that call, whether it closes or not. She gets flat commission rate just for setting the call in the first place. I forget the exact amount. Maybe it's like 50 bucks. But it's just uh, because she's, like, she's an admin. She's doing a bunch of stuff and like setting a call takes her out of, takes time away from her administrative duties. Um, and so I want to pay her extra for that. So pay her, pay her just for setting the call, plus pay her commission if we if we actually close that call. That's in addition to her 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 uh, her wages, her set wages.